What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about setting up user pass proxies in TaskBot. I get a lot of questions about this. It's a little bit different than um, your average setup just because most bots are Windows based and Windows takes user pass proxies a lot better than, than OS X does. So we're just going to go over kind of the basics and talk about how to test them and add them in so that you can do this beforehand. Um, the reason you might want to do this is so that you can get all set up for tasks for a specific drop. Um, if you don't do this beforehand, then you're going to have to do it and it's going to be right before the drop. Um, this can be really difficult. I've done it before and it sucks having to authenticate all of your proxies right before a drop um, because nine times out of ten you're going to screw something up because you forgot to do something. So try and do this the night before or as soon as you can when you receive your proxies from your proxy provider. Um, so first, I think it's important that everybody have a test profile in TaskBot. Um, just fill it full of fake information, a fake address, a fake credit card number, all that good stuff, um, so that you don't run the risk of checking something out by accident. So make sure you have something set up like this, just a fake phone number, an email, um, and a fake address with fake credit card info. Next, we're going to go and add a task. Um, I prefer to use Easy Supply or any Shopify site, really. Um, and I use this hat as my, my test URL. So I'm going to take that and paste it into here. As you can see, I already have it there. We'll do it again. Um, we don't have to worry about size. Um, it's sold out anyways. So we're going to use our test profile. And to add the proxies in, we cannot use the mass import or deletion. Um, as you can see here, it only supports IP authenticated. So when you receive your proxies from your proxy provider, they're going to be in this format. Typically, it'll be IP, port, user, pass. I have it color coded there so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to click this add button and we're going to type in our, the IP of the proxy here. So we'll do 198.23.228.248. We'll do the port 9007. We're going to click save and then that'll add over here. Um, so let's do the other two. Five. Save. And 77, 5241, and we'll save that as well. So now, once we have those three proxies added, as you can see here, we have not yet put in the username or password. So we're going to select that one and click Save. And then we're going to select the next one and click Save. And for the last one, we're going to do the same thing. You want to do this for every proxy that you add. So then when we come back into terminal here, you can see we have these three tests, tests set up. And what we're going to do is we're going to run them one by one. So we're going to click Start. And this is going to pop up on OS X. So we're going to go into System Preferences and type in the username and the password and click OK. And we can close that, and you'll see that it starts to run the task. Once that happens, we can stop it because it's just a test task. We're going to do the same thing for this one. System preferences, sudo shoe. OK, this one's going to run. And the last one. And then this one will run. So you'll know they're working because they'll start to run, and they'll pick up that product. Um, so say you buy 10 proxies or 20 proxies and they're all user pass, you're going to want to go ahead and do all of this the night beforehand if you have time, just because if you're trying to do this 20 minutes before a Supreme, Supreme drop and you're rushed for time, you're most likely going to screw something up. So just go ahead and do that for all of them. Um, this is why it's typically recommended to get IP auth proxies for a task bot so you don't have to deal with this. But um, I just wanted to kind of show you all how to do that because so many people ask. Um, and it's not something that's really explained much uh, by TaskBot or in the FAQ. So that's about it. Uh, leave any comments or questions down below, and I'll try and get to them. I'll leave the link for that uh, Easy Supply hat in the description so you guys can use it to test. Um, yeah. Everybody, uh, good luck with the Supreme Lacoste drop tomorrow.